today, the sky is the limit. We are soaring in the springs, live and local with drone nerds coming up after the break. missions, drones are changing the way that we do things in countless ways. Yeah, this morning, Lauren McDonald is live and local at Drone Nerds right here in the Springs with a look at now some of the ways drones are changing the world. Lauren, good morning. That's right. Good morning from eye level to sky level. We are taking your knowledge when it comes to the world of drones to new heights here at Drone Nerds this morning, live and local with Chris Childress, owner of Drone Nerds, first franchise in Colorado Springs. Yes, we are actually the first uh, franchise for drone nerds. Uh, they're based out of Miami, and uh, this is, uh, again, like the first one in Colorado Springs. Um, we are a retail store where we service, uh, do training, teach you all about your drones, and we start everywhere from small little racer drones um, that's becoming very popular to the in-between drones. This one we actually had custom wrap that we do, uh, the wraps for the uh, drones. This is to uh, Air Force Academy's new, uh, mimic their new helmet, the Air Force Academy. It's, it's awesome. And then we get into commercial drones that are actually waterproof. Uh, they can fly 20 degrees below zero. They have all these sensors built into them. Um, they're made for uh, commercial use for constructions and, and inspections and crane inspections. Then we get into big cinema uh, photography uh, drones here that can carry 13 pound cameras. I said our uh, cameraman here would probably love to have one of these take one home today, um, but they're very powerful. So we uh, carry everything from the small drones to uh, the bigger drones and everything in between. Um, so we have something for everybody in the price range, but we do everything again from uh, repairs to teaching you, to getting your license if you want to get a commercial um, drone license. So, yes. Very cool. A lot to learn this morning. Yes. Drones being used for so many things these days. You're actually a pilot. You have to get, get an FAA license to do this commercially. Uh, yes. I started with, uh, a few years ago with my um, FAA 333 where you had to have an actual pilot license to fly these drones. Uh, I was one of about two or 3,000 in the United States last year. They came out with the FAA 107, which now makes it easier for somebody to go take the FAA test to uh, attain a 107 licensure. Once you have that 107, then you can go do commercial uh, photography or flying or whatever and sell your work that you do. So some of the camera systems that we have on these are just amazing that they take great photography, and that's what people are using them for. So, so. if I'm understanding what you're saying, I could go take this test. Yes. And I could get a license. You can. I yes. would be a pilot, a drone pilot. Uh, you'd be a drone pilot, yes. And you'd be uh, totally legal, yes, that you can fly. Totally, le <laughs> totally legal, but pretty scary, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, no. I'm actually going to take flight today, right? You are. Later, Later on, on, we're going to, yes, and we'll show you how automated they are. And uh, yes, you're going to fly one. Very cool. Hope we have some insurance on that. All right, guys, <laughs> we are live and local from jo Drone Nerds all morning long, like I said, taking your knowledge to new heights when it comes to the world of drones. We know we have our Sky Fox, and uh, I'm sure he's pretty proud that we are here this morning. For now, I'll send it back to you. If you can buy it, you can fly it. That's I was pretty gonna much, say it. Uh, it might be out of my budget, but <laughs> it might, might be a nice uh, Christmas present right. from Santa. Lauren, thanks. <laughs> the time right now is 5.49. Good morning, fly, crash, rebuild, repeat. That is the order of operations. We're doing step three, unfortunately, coming up after the break. With more than 820,000 registered mm. drones. That's a busy, crowded it sky. Is. That's a right? lot. <laughs> yes, but what exactly are these aerial robots all about? Right now, we find out as Lauren McDonald is live and local at Drone Nerds. And Lauren, good morning to you. What do you know? Good morning. I know that Houston, we have a problem right now. <laughs> we have gone down. And it is bad news, but you know what? Here to help is the mad scientist, Jeremy Salome, here at Drone Nerds. We are talking about drone repairs. You guys do it all here at Drone Nerds. Now, hopefully, right. when you get a drone, you don't crash. But if we're being realistic, people do crash. Sometimes it happens. These drones, right? Yep. All right, so you are actually working on a drone right now. Yep. Two of them. Mm -hmm. So kind of tell me what's going on. All right, here we have the Mavic Pro, and a customer, unfortunately, wrecked it and it smashed into a tree and he broke the gimbal on this. So, so that's the camera. That right? is the camera and uh, yes. Very nice. So I gotta ask you, people that crash their drones, typically is it more expensive for them to get it repaired or just buy a new drone? 
Um, it's about 50-50. Uh, Depends on so, what breaks. Right, right. Mm -hmm. So, like, the camera on this cost probably around $350. And uh, in that case, it's cheaper to have it repaired than to just buy a new one. To buy a whole new one. Exactly, yes. yeah. All right, very cool. And what's going on with this guy? Same thing. Wreck the gimbal. And uh, so I'm going to have to pull this camera off and put a new one on. And you can actually show us how you can pull this apart, right? There's yeah, I've already so taken the screws parts. out, so I'm just going to pop it open real quick. And I'll show you what's inside. And Jeremy, you you started... Tell us your story. How did you get started with this? This wasn't your original plan, right? Nope. Um, I went to school and I, uh, I got a degree in electrical tech... being an electrical technician. And um, so I installed Chris's security system in his cameras and uh, set up his whole TV, all the TVs and everything. Uh -huh. And uh, he was kind of like just, you know, I like the way you work. Yeah. I like you as a person. Will you come work he for said, me? You're and I was smart. Like, all you right. know what's going on, right? Exactly. I love it. Guys, I just want to note, I know we're running out of time. They also have the 3D printer running in the background. They have high heels for the drones. So in case there's snow, in case you're on rocks, you know what, you can have all these accessories to make sure your drone stays safe. And you know what, this is just a taste of all we're going to experience this morning. I think coming up next, we're going to take a virtual flight, put on the goggles and see uh, sky high sights here at Drone Nerds. For now though, we'll send it back to you guys. It's pretty cool stuff, Lauren. Thank you so much. It's amazing though. I mean, all the, the, the new jobs now that are created. Created because by of the technology. Yeah. The technologies, yeah. yeah. All right, Lauren, thank so you. Thanks, Lauren. I would definitely crash mine, though. <laughs> yeah, if you fix your gimmick. That's right. Good morning. Let me tell you something. Sweet sights from High Heights coming, after the, coming up after the break. We are on TV with FPV. We're going to tell you exactly what that is coming up next. Welcome back. The time right now is 720 and a pizza delivery by an aerial robot. Well, there's a drone for that. There is, yeah. So from rescue missions also to land surveying, there's no denying drones are changing the world in a big way. And right now we're learning more about these robots taking flight as Laura McDonald is live and local at Drone Nerds with more. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. That's right. I'm your pizza girl this morning. What would you like? Cheese and pepperoni, sausage. I can I can we'll, give you whatever you we'll want. We'll take it all. Yes, all, yeah. all of it. Yeah. Bring everything back. Yeah, <laughs> all of it. Right. Love it. All right, guys. We are live and local at Drone Drone Nerds, learning all about drones here with Chris Childress, owner. Now I have some type of contraption on my head. So what she has is the first person view. That's what she said. FPV. First it basically has given her the view of what the camera sees from the drone. So if you look up to the screen here, we got the Fox News, we have a drone outside, Josh is flying, and she has these goggles oh, on. That's so turning it then, right? Yep. So when you go ahead okay. and put the goggles down, what she sees in the goggles is what the drone sees, and then we have it just played on TV so that you can see as a viewer what she's seeing. So move your head up okay. and she the camera goes up. Uh -huh. And you move your head down and the camera goes down. Uh-huh. And then you move up again, and okay. now, now stand right there, and okay. then turn your body left and right. As she moves left and right, it also moves the drone left and right. So basically it gives her control of the camera. Whoa. You still use the controls to have to uh, control the drone, which Josh is doing right are. now. We and go. then we're in the store. Yeah. Wait. And there we are, everybody wave. Man, this is like... So you got to move slow if you yeah, move fast, it goes... I'm, I'm going a little bit too fast. Oh, there you go. So this is a way, one way that we're using drones. Nowadays, um, people Chapel are. Chapel Hills Mall. Yep, there's Chapel Hills Mall. Mm -hmm. Gives gives people uh, that first person view to feel like they're immersified in as a pilot in the drone. Um, other uses that were there, uh, we were just talking about is just like you were talking is the uh, Fountain Police Department using it for surveillance. I think that is awesome. Um, you know, we have crane inspections that you could use with some of these that are waterproof, 20 degrees below zero. Uh, they use them for under bridges since they have sensors built into them. They have first person view uh, 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 capability. Um, again, you can see everything that the drone is seeing again out there. We have, you know, uh, airplane on here live so you can see. I apologize, um, guys, if I'm making you a little uh, yeah. drone sick here. I'm trying my best to control she has, this. She has to move slow, but you can see how she's moving. Everything that she's looking at as she's moving around, she's controlling that camera. So it's pretty awesome. 
Pretty awesome cool. stuff. Now, Chris, this is just the beginning, really, of drones. Yes. They've just started to explode. What can we expect? In 10 years, in the world of drones. So as we were talking, uh, we were talking in Dubai. They're using drones that they're actually like Uber here. I think someday is going to have it. But they actually have two passenger uh, battery-powered drones that they're flying around. So with congestion and, and uh, highways and everything being congested, you can see where you know someday they're going to uh, be passenger vehicles, which they already are in Dubai. The rules here, FCC and government. Uh, regulations and stuff like that limit a lot of the uh, uh, capabilities here in the United States. But as you guys all know, Amazon and Barnes and Noble and some of them are going to be flying packages with drones. You'll see that guarantee in the next 10 years. So good to um, have my feet back down on the ground. You back on you back on Earth. And look, she has all her fingers. We haven't let I her do. lose any fingers yes. yet. Haven't, yeah, uh, taken not yet. <laughs> she hasn't taken flight. We're going to though. So yes. much fun here at Drone Nerds, guys. Getting educated on the world of drones. So much to learn. So much to see from sky high and that's what go. we are showing you guys this morning we will be back in a few minutes with another segment i think we are going to learn how to become a pilot yes training Ooh, next wow cool. look I'm out her the best of luck <laughs> look out You're the doing skies good. above yeah that would make, make me very awkward See, having say, that, it might that make camera me dizzy. That, yeah you get dizzy and like lightheaded yeah even without the, the and, goggles yes. i'd be lightheaded. yeah yeah yes. actually all right lauren thank you so much 725 right now. You better watch out because I'm taking flight. Coming up after the break, we're going to tell you all the steps you need to take if you're looking to legally fly a drone commercially. That's coming up next. And from aerial imagery to life saving missions, drones are changing the way that we do things in countless ways. Yeah, this morning, Lauren McDonald is live and local at Drone Nerds right here in the spring. So, with a look now at some ways these drones are changing the world. And, Lauren, they're about to give you the, the keys to the castle right now, right? You're going to take off one of these things. Yeah, pretty soon, Craig. So, you know what? Watch out. That's all I got to say. And, ladies and gentlemen, listen up because right now we are giving you a crash course when it comes to navigating the clouds here with Chris and Joe. All right, we know that I'm about to take flight. Very scary time for everyone. <laughs> but, you know what? People that are really looking to uh, learn more about drones, get involved in this, whether it's commercially or just for a hobby, there are rules that they need to know. Yes. So, as a commercial pilot, which I have my pilot license, you get an FAA test that you have to take, and then you have a logbook that you keep track of your flight record. Again, this is for commercial, and then you need to register your drone. Um, we have a, a FAA.gov I direct everybody to, so if you're interested in becoming a commercial pilot, you could go to the website, get all the information. There is an app called Before You Fly. This is the app right here. It shows where there's no fly zones. It basically will tell you where you can fly and what you can't. Very good app. Android, Apple, tablets, everything you can use it for. Uh, it'll go over all the flight rules, everything that you need to know, both commercial and recreational. Again, we teach the 107 classes here, and then you have to take the written test with the FAA. If you want to be um, just a pilot and fly recreational, uh, that is doable where you don't have to register your drone anymore. You could come in, buy a drone from us, and go out and fly it and do it legally. As long as you're not selling it for pictures for money, you can do it as a recreationalist. I'm going to hand it off to Joe. He's going to tell you a little bit about some of our flight training and the commercial are the, I want to say the um, recreational. Um, recreational part right. of it. Sure, yes. yeah. So something else that we offer is a one-on-one -on -one private training. Uh, what we go over is we help you understand your equipment. Um, we'll go over the software and functions as well. And we'll teach you how to get the most out of your battery life as well. Um, and then we'll take you to a field and have you fly it. Wide and open spaces, Wide right? open spaces, always good. Um, we, we don't want any crashes. No, none of those. Um, we go over all the intelligent flight modes that the drone has to offer. There's some really cool ones that offer different functions for different things, such right. as real estate. It's like your iPhone, right? There's functions you don't even know it does until you really start learning about it and getting into it. Absolutely. I always love seeing my customers say, wow, I had no idea that these drones are so intuitive. So Very cool. All mm -hmm. right. Next segment, I'm going to take flight. I'm going to take the skies. Two tips for me. Real quick, crash course. Two, two tips we, we want to say is always know your surroundings. Before you fly, you want to uh, make sure there's no power lines, uh, you know, people standing around that you're going to run into. Um, and then the other safety thing is you make sure your drone is charged and operational. You don't have broken blades. It's safe. And, and go through the checklist. And that's pretty much what we're going to do is make sure everything's safe before we 
hand a drone off, off to her and let her fly. Again, we'll make sure she doesn't lose any fingers. She's been practicing. And you guys have faith in me, right? We have total Give faith. Give me some knocks right here. Right <laughs> yeah. here. She'll do awesome. She'll do awesome. Down to earth, people. Let's hope that I had a sky high performance this morning, live and local <laughs> from Drone Nerds. Buckle up because we are soaring into the sky. Coming up next. <laughs> In a very wide <laughs> open space too. Yeah, Lauren. Good luck. Yeah, you're, you're luck. prompting Craig Thanks. to sing uh, a little it. Dixie Chicks over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. Right. Wide open spaces. I know. Yes. Thanks, Lauren. Thanks, right. Lauren. <laughs> And for those of you just joining us, here are some of the big news stories that we're... Good morning. I've got my Top Gun training. I have got the need for speed. Coming up after the break, the Maverick Fox 21 is ready for takeoff. We are live and local from Drone Nerds. Coming up next. Flying higher than ever with more than 820,000 registered drones. But what exactly are these aerial robots all about? We're going to find out right now. Live and local with Lauren McDonald at Drone Nerds. Lauren, good morning. Good morning and buckle up. And I want to let you know in the event of a cabin pressure change, an oxygen mask is going to deploy from overhead to start the flow of oxygen. Pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. We're not going to keep going because, you know what, you guys aren't really on a plane. But we are flying a drone. We are taking flight this morning. And you actually need a license to do this, Josh. Yes. To do if it you're commercially, doing commercial. yes, absolutely. Don't, not, not anymore, though, if you're just doing it recreationally. If you're doing it recreationally, you don't need to register it. You can just basically come in and take off whenever you whenever you are whenever you want. More confident enough, but I suppose. But you do need to know the rules. I'm part of the squad this morning. I got the drone nerd's jacket. I'm ready to take off. Where's the drone? Where are we? <laughs> right here, we? right here. Oh, okay, right in front of us. So, give me, uh, give me a little... So a basically what we're doing is I'm going to teach you how to fly this thing. I you know, like it. Best yeah. of luck to you. But, yeah, thanks. Uh, but, um, so basically what we'll do here is we'll go over a little bit of training. And this is kind of what we do in store. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll go over the app. We'll go over the controller, basic flight controls. Um, so basically what we'll do here, this stick on the left is going to lift it up in the air. Mm -hmm. And this stick on the right is going to go left, right, forwards, and backwards. And to start the motors, you're going to just kind of take both the sticks in. Okay. As you can see, the propellers just started off. Okay. But uh, why don't you go ahead and give you it a try? You think I should give it a whirl? I'm, I'm right here. If you, if you. Uh, All right. Let's uh, let's take let's take off here. All right. Let's see. So both in to start. Yep. Yep. All right. We're going up. We have lift off. Flying high. All right. All right, and then just press forward on the right stick. Yep, there you go. Ooh, this thing, uh, it moves. Now, yeah. how fast can these things go? So this specific model, its top speed is 45 miles an hour in sport mode, which is, which is pretty fast. All right. But yeah. uh, right now we're moving at a pretty steady pace, I would say. And uh, how, how high can I take this? Uh, the legal limit is 400 feet. Okay. Although. Um, you know, once you get up that high, you it's pretty hard to see it actually. Right. So, exactly. so uh, and this is this is just a taste of all the different types of drones that are offered. Right? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's military drones, there's drones for land surveying, there's all kinds of drones, racing drones, which racing is what drones. you do, right? Yeah, Josh? racing drones are super fun. Those ones will go a little bit faster. You know, upwards of 80, 85 miles an hour sometimes. Very but, nice. Uh, well, it has been so much fun finding what the buzz is about. You know what? We got another drone out here. We got a drone party going on. Craig, there are so many different types of drones. They are even making one with your face on it. I got to tell you, though, you need to brush those teeth because wow. they are looking a little crummy. <laughs> Burn. Come Burn. on, Lauren. Yeah. Got me on that one. There we go. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> See, I'm sure you'll get me back. Don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> and it's Wednesday, and everyone knows that that means another furry critter is here for you guys. Today. Right, good morning. We are telling you what it, what all of this buzz is about. Live and local from Drone Nerds, coming up after the break. Well, there's a drone for that. There is for everything, pretty much, from rescue missions to land surveying and more. There's no denying drones are changing the world in a big way. And right now, Lauren McDonald, live and local at Drone Nerds with more. Lauren, good morning. That's right. Good morning, guys. It is amazing what an altitude adjustment can do. We are finding that out this morning, live and local from Drone Nerds right here in Colorado Springs. First franchise in Colorado Springs here with Chris. Chris, you know all there is to know about drones. 
a lot of misconceptions about drones. I know my mom is a little bit nervous when it comes to drones, but really I think that comes from people just not really understanding what they are and what they do and really what they're used for. Yes, just like you said, we have everything from racing drones to drones for search and rescue. A uh, lot of uh, things that drones can do people don't understand. So if you follow the rules, and like we talked about in today's segment, is there's the Before You Fly app, go to the FAA, follow the rules, and if you stay within those guidelines, they're very safe. So people aren't using them just to go peep on your neighbor and check out things. There's just a lot of uh, resources that these drones are going into, uh, really, really, really a lot. Um, different activities, right? Di Let's talk about some of the different things that, that they're used for. We don't have to go in depth, but just like the... Well, There's a wide variety of things drones are yep, used for. Like you just had a segment about the Fountain uh, Police Department, uh, search and rescue. Uh, we use it for crane operation uh, where they do inspections. We do it for agriculture. They can actually uh, find the yield of the crop and find where there's uh, areas of um, a dead or diseased crop. Um, we use them again for aerial photography, um, real estate photography, you know, everything that uh, you see on, on the news. And you guys are actually, you know, using it to shoot live uh, footage too for uh, your station. Right, land um, surveying too, la right? And land surveying, I mean, it's just amazing the technology. So there's billions of apps out there that are, uh, that are drone um, friendly. friendly that you can use and, and do just a lot, a lot of stuff with it. So yes, they're amazing. Uh, the future, you said 10 years, I said 10 years. You're just going to see these, they're just slowly, it's just growing, growing, growing. I mean, it's, it's a great right. uh, technology. It's technology. probably hard yeah. to keep up with it. Yep. You've got to constantly stay on it. All right, here at Drone Nerds, you guys offer, uh, you offer training, you offer drones, you offer advice when somebody's looking to get into the drone uh, business the, or hobby. Ab absolutely. That's what we're here for. Again, we are a full retail store. We uh, service everything we sell. We will help you with firmware, ask any questions you have. That's what we're here for, to serve the community. We want to get out in the community and educate so that you know that these are safe and that we're going to teach you the proper way of how you uh, fly them and all the rules and stuff behind. So come down, visit us, 1733 Briargate Boulevard, just south of Chapel Hills Mall, and we'll be more than happy to go over anything that you guys have questions about drones. That's what we are, drone nerds. We're here for you. Come see the nerds, guys. There you go. One more thing, because Justin, since you're not there, Socktober, I got my... Boo. boo to you. The boo socks. I love those. We need to get All some right. drone socks. I, I couldn't find them. I said I'm going to have to invent those. But yes, That's drone right. socks would be cool. We will. So, I'm yes. sure Justin can find them somewhere. Maybe yeah, we can there you uh, go. send some over to you guys. Guys, All right. we have learned this morning that the possibilities are limitless in the world of drones. So if you're looking to uh, take your, your hobby or your business to new heights, come over here. Come on down and see the nerds because they are here to help for sure. I know they've helped me learn a lot this morning. Hopefully they've helped you guys learn too. For now, we'll send it back to you. Good stuff, Lauren. Thanks. Yeah. See the nerds. And